your local election headquarters and a bill passing in the state Senate bringing down the hen house. Senate Bill 1620 would allow Texas residents to raise chickens within limits of their city. Very interesting law, interesting story here. Local 2's Tyler Wester joining us now in the studio with those details. Tyler, uh, I gotta ask, what are yeah. people thinking about something like this? You wouldn't think of the Odessa Midland area as kind of like a chicken loving area, but I guess it, it is from what I found out today. Now I spoke with an Odessa resident who supports this bill because he wants to legally have chickens in the city. In our neck of the woods, it's legal to raise chickens inside Midland city limits, but inside the Odessa lines, you aren't allowed to. <laughs> chickens clucking, something you probably don't hear much in Odessa. That's because having chickens is banned in city limits, but a new state bill could change that. I think it's a move in the right direction, uh, definitely a positive move for a lot of people that are interested in having their own backyard chickens. It's something that a lot of people in this area are interested in. Odessa resident Bo Perez wants to raise chickens but can't because of the city ordinance. The experience for my daughter, the experience for the family of having and, and keeping our own food. Kind of like a person would keep a garden in their backyard. That's the attraction for me. If passed, the bill would make it illegal for a city to ban having chickens altogether, but there would be stipulations. Like like not having more than six chickens, no roosters, and keeping them a certain distance away from houses. I could definitely see where people would be against it. And the reasons that I think would be that people would take this as a, I can have roosters and I can have chickens and I can let them run all over the place. Perez says this can be a controversial issue, but in the long run, people shouldn't overreact regardless of the bill's outcome. People will probably have agreements and disagreements. They're always going to be. But people are going to have to put in the work in order to support it once it does pass. Now that the bill's passed through the Senate, it needs to be approved by the House and signed into law by the governor before it takes effect. Live in the studio, Tyler Wessner, Local 2 News. All right, Tyler, thanks for that story tonight. And